This is my state, Louisiana. Come on! Where the rivers are full of huge catfish and some cabins and houses that need a lot of work. Oh, what's that? <laughs> These cabins have been passed down from generation to generation. My team of experts and I are passionate about fixing up these places to make them match the beauty that is the waters that we call home. I'm Hampton Rutland, and this is Louisiana River Builds. So what do we got, Amy? It's a nice young couple, two great little kids. They need a whole lot of help at this place. So the cabin we got this time is the Cross family. They've had it for a couple years right there in the Washita River. This camp means a whole lot to the family, but the house just needs a lot of work. The Washita River is a beautiful and unique setting cherished by people who love nature and want to spend time in the outdoors or with their family and friends in a comfortable cabin with amazing views. These coveted houses actually float on a styrofoam system and are anchored to metal beams that keep them in place. Young families like the Crosses want to continue the tradition, but with today's comforts included, so their kids will want to come back for another generation. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey. My name is Alexis Carl. My husband and I have a camp here on the Washita River. I'm Matt Crawls. I'm married to Alexis Crawls, two kids, Peyton and Paige, and this is our camp. How long you had the place? For about two years now. Two years. This place needs some serious work. We've tried to put some work into it. We have run out of time to do what we need to do. Let's, Let's go it. inside and check it Let's out. Let's do it. All right, guys. This is it. Well, it's a camp for hunting season, fishing season. Sure. Pretty much every weekend we'll be here. Have you been coming up or? Some. It's a, it's a little bit. It's a little rough. A little mannish. Especially little when mannish. all the guys get yeah. in here. It's a little dark. Pretty much this is the only light. That's something we can work on, getting this place lighter. Clearly, you need some countertop. It needs to be organized. A lot of work in the kitchen. We've got some great, heavily used couch uh -huh. situation I'm here. not sure how many years hand-me-down they are. Where do the kids sleep? They get to pick a couch. They usually okay. fight over that couch. This is the one they fight over, right? Yeah. That's it. You well, like I can kind of see why, why they fight over. It's got a nice kind of waterbed bounce uh -huh. to it. It's nice. All right, so this is the master. This is it, master, master sleep. So you like sleeping on the floor? Not really. No. Right. That's definitely, we can get you up and off the ground. What is it that's going to make you happy? It's very important that the kids have a place to sleep, have a family atmosphere, have some organization so that there's a place for everything. I think we can really make this place bright, enjoyable, friendly. People want to come over and, and really love the place. I do think that I'm in good hands with Hampton, but we'll just have to see how it turns out in the end. I don't know. I can understand why Alexis doesn't like the camp's layout and aesthetic. They can be a bit rough and run down. She wants to put her stamp on it, have a place she can be proud of. Here's the plan. In the kitchen, we'll make better use of this space with some clever reorganization, adding some new countertops and open shelving, and new floors throughout. Money is tight on this build. You know, we've got a $15,000 budget. The breakdown will go something like this. We need $2,000 for new siding, $1,000 for flooring, about $3,000 for appliances, $3,000 for cabinets, $2,000 for furniture, and roughly 4,000 for building materials. As always, we're gonna rely heavily on reclaimed and recycled materials wherever we can. Everything you see in this house is coming out, except for the cabinets. They wanna keep the cabinets, I think they're donating them to charity or something. Should I take that then? No, no, no. I'll hang on to this. Let's gently take out the cabinets and then everything else, utter destruction. I want a smoking embers at the end of this thing. So my crew is Jeff and Richard, probably two of my best friends. Richard has the know-how. I can see what I want, but Richard can kind of pull all the bones together and make it happen. You didn't really have to do all that. Oh, you didn't? No. A little overkill. <laughs> Jeff has been my friend since I can remember. He keeps us on budget, he keeps us on time, so that when we need something, it's there. He'll have a tendency to slip off. You look around, he might not be there. He'll be fishing or something. But all you got to do is wrangle him back, and he's right there. With the demo almost done, it's time to tackle the first hurdle of the day, moving the porch to the front of the house. We're going to get crazy. We're going to pull off the side porch, and we're going to make a new front entrance, rearrange the whole face of this place. It's a difficult proposition because we're out here on the river. It's not something you can just roll over and move forward. I've never seen the wind blow this hard here. I hadn't either. Look at the water, man. Well, we're starting to move this porch, and I have a whole list of concerns. The river's up, the current's up, the wind's blowing the opposite way, just as strong as the current. One, two, three, oh, God. No. Oh God. 
Can you guys just please slide the tent off so you don't fling it in the river? What would be the fun in that, Jeff? All right, the roof's off. Let's detach this thing and move it to the front. Let's do it. To move the porch safely, we got to tie the boats to the side of the porch, detach the porch, and guide it around to the front of the cabin. Just looking out through there, I, there's a chance for a pretty horrible mistake. There is. There really is. We're going to make it happen. We got boats. We got ropes. I think we can pull it off. I don't know. We might get it. Look at Jeff. I, I love the optimism now. <laughs> this porch is detached. Let's move it. All right, you got it. You got it. Hey, let's just take it down the river a little bit. No. This is boring. No. <laughs> get ready, man. Left. Once we get the deck in place, Richard temporarily secures it with a sheet of plywood and some screws. That's how you move a deck. Yeah, it was much simpler than I thought. I told you. I think Jeff just got us all worked up for nothing. Thanks, Jeff. I'm going to need a hammer. You want this broom? Yeah, I can try the broom. What are these, what are these worth if they're damaged? This river build is a complete overhaul, and it's already proven to be a challenge. We've relocated the porch in a fierce windstorm, added a new entrance, and now we're ready to start transforming the inside. All right, Hammy. So, Richard, what are we doing with this stuff? We're going to use these quarter-inch pieces uh, of plywood that we've ripped down into slot, slats. All right, so, so you'll start here? with a full piece, and then I got your cuts over here. you start with the longest and step it all the way back down. We decided not to go with sheetrock. It's kind of plain. So we're going to rip down some plywood and put it on the wall. We'll whitewash it. It'll be a nice wood and rustic look. So this is good, man. It's just like laying a floor. So and we're it, doing it on the wall. Exactly. All right, you want to find the stud? There it is. There it is. So we stagger it, and the next one's even shorter. Mm-hmm, that's right. And this has got to be dirt cheap. This plywood costs practically nothing. We've got to do this on every wall? Yeah, if I was you, I'd quit talking and go to work. With just a tight budget, me and the boys are going to go out and find some material to use in this place in downtown Ruston, just 45 minutes down the road from the cabin. Richard's been telling me about this old building downtown that he's been working on. And he keeps talking about there's going to be some material in there. And so we're going to go check that out. What we got here, man? What is this place? Well, it used to be uh, an old department store back in the 50s. Now we're gutting it, and we're doing some renovations on it for a client. All right, Hammy, here it is. Man, this is the place, huh? It's a big place. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything here you like or not. Yeah, I thought you said there's nothing good in here, man. Look at this. Tin ceiling tiles, they call them. You could probably get a lot of money for these tiles. Well, you can pay me. I'm going to need a hammer. You want this broom? Yeah, I can try the broom. What are, these, what are these worth if they're damaged? Absolutely nothing. I'm going to need a hammer. Ugh. Yes, All you did right. it. This nice. is beautiful. Let's go see what's upstairs. Hey, I've already started tearing up some of this floor over here. You did? You made a nice little pile for me. Man, this stuff's great. There's a ton of flooring in there from in the turn of the century, and it's got some few layers of paint on it. Gives it a little character. And so we pulled it up out of that building, and we're going to use it for a backsplash. I told you I got some good stuff. All right, Richard, why am I sweeping this area? Because we got to put the flooring down, man. You don't want to put mud under the flooring, do you? I don't. All right, well, look, I've cut your first piece. This is some of that plastic or PVC stuff that's so water-friendly. Yeah. water -friendly. It's water-friendly. It's uh, PVC vinyl yeah. plank. The floor has to be able to tolerate water, because you're right there on the river. You're coming in and out of the boat. There's water everywhere. So you want a floor that can stand up to that. We decided to use a PVC-based laminate, completely waterproof, very flexible. These camps have a tendency to not be very level. It's a snap-and-click flooring system, so we stagger the seams and use a rubber mallet to secure them into place. Once we got the flooring done, it's time to tackle the siding. Ah, man, this stuff really does make this place look a lot better, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, I and they had all that old, nasty metal on it. This kind of makes it look like a proper house. We put this house wrap up here to give them a good weather-resistant barrier. Sure. Whereas before, they didn't have anything like that going on. So anything outside was coming in. We make sure each board is level, give a slight overlap, and nail every six to nine inches. You are very precariously perched. There's a 50% chance I might fall in right here. All right, man, it's looking good. Let's get the next piece. All right, let's do it. A 
big project that we haven't tackled yet is their bedroom. We gotta start working on this platform bed. First, we secure a two by four ledger. So these are uh, actually some boards that were left over from the porch outside. It's all about not wasting and I commend you. Thank did you. Jeff tell you to do that? Yeah, he did. She really wanted some storage, so we're gonna elevate the bed, attach it to the wall, and allow for a little bit of space and some cabinetry, a little storage underneath the bed. It's a nice little box we've created. Yeah, it's kinda like a human shelf. Next, we run the vertical supports. All right, let's get the plywood. Let's hop to it. For the kitchen, I had my friend Lon, one of the best cabinet makers in Louisiana, custom build a beautiful countertop and some cabinets. Me and Lon are gonna start installing these. Hey Lon, don't let him mess anything up. I got him. So Lon, what you make us here, what we got? This white oak grain match, we're gonna do some pickling on yeah, it. that's nice, man, you get the, cut it out of the same piece. Same piece, the whole thing, so it should all match up really well once we put Excellent. the pickling on it. Once we get the cabinets installed, we can bring in the countertop. Oh, it's heavy, isn't it? It's not light. What is this? This stuff is a laminated beach wood. It's called bubachi panels. It's a way that they can recycle their waste. Uh, it's better for the environment, and it makes a really strong countertop. It almost looks like a uh, butcher block. Butcher, kind of. this, exactly. I'm big on taking inspiration on the environment we're in. We're in a beautiful place, so we're gonna find a lot of things out in nature that we can bring in and use in the cabin. Today, we're looking for a cypress knee to hold up the end of the new bar top we're installing. You look like a lumberjack, Richard. I kinda you feel like a lumberjack. I'm kind of a man of many talents. Right here, look at this. Ho, ho, how tall is the countertop? I measured it to my belt. It's a very scientific way of measuring. It's That's an exact measurement. One. Is it? Yeah, absolutely. How far away should I stand when you're doing this? This is about a 30 inch bar, so just stand about 24 inches from me. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. Oh, that's perfect. Could put a block in there so it don't slide around on the exactly. floor. Yeah. I told you we'd find it. He did it. Good job, dude. Let's go get this done. I want to be a lumberjack. Alexis and Matt's cabin is coming together beautifully. We've made headway in the kitchen and the siding's installed. Now, I won't say we haven't had a few struggles, but in the short time frame, we're actually sitting pretty. We've got a lot to tackle today, and I'm very eager to start on the backsplash. We're using wood that we pulled from a building in downtown Ruston. Got All right, it. Richard, here's our backsplash. You got the tile layout? I do. How do you like it? For the little tile backsplash behind the cooktop, I think we're gonna go four tiles wide for the first and then we'll stagger the joints. We're going all the way to the ceiling with the tile and then this uh, floor we're gonna butt into it. And that I covers the whole cooktop area? Mm -hmm. Yep. So Jeff, I need you to cut me a piece of cement board and I need it to be 24 and an eighth by 47 inches tall. All right, and Jeff, got it. Cut, can cut. you please not screw it up? What's the importance of the cement back of there, Richard? The tile will not stick to the wood, so we gotta have something for the tile to stick to. All right, Jeff, for the far end, just start cutting 18 and a half, and I'll tell you when to stop. So quite a few of them. Anytime you're working with reclaimed wood, which we do all the time, it tends to be temperamental. It's kind of like putting a puzzle together. It takes a lot more fitting and customization than just your standard issue brand new material. Perfect, man, looks great. Let's start on the tile. Let's do it. I thought it was gonna be a nice look to juxtapose some old material with some very clean white subway tile. Contrast each other, a little bit of the old, a little bit of the new. So Richard's on tile, and I'm gonna jump off to the paint. How do you like this paint color? I call it, I call it blue. It looks a lot better than I thought it was going to, I have to be honest. All the camps around here, they're very monochromatic, so we chose blue. It's a head turner. People look at it and say, there's a family there that loves and enjoys their little camp. Good, you got four more sides to go. Maybe I'll ask for some help. Well, don't ask me, I don't paint. Okay, get back in there. To add a bit of space and functionality in the kitchen, we're gonna make a beautiful open shelving system. And to keep costs low, we're cutting the lumber ourselves with a portable sawmill. This is actually uh, Eastern Red Cedar. You can see there's a real deep vein of red in there. It's beautiful once it's cut. So I thought what we could do is we could cut it up, we could use it for that open shelving in the kitchen. I like it. Nice 
Thanks, man. Job, Job well done. That's really pretty stuff. So here okay. it is. It's time we got the backsplash up. It's time for some open shelving. So can I trust you to assemble these? I'm finished. That's why we rely on you. Yeah. So we're installing the black pipe for open shelving. Jeff did a tremendous job putting that together. So we'll put the cedar on top, and there's our shelves. Let's cut this down to size, and we got shelves. I wanted to bring out the natural look of this uh, wood, kind of like, you know, like a butcher block almost. Just put some natural oil on it and let the grain speak for itself in this case. Oh, how did I get the heavy in? Are you kidding me? Because you're the most All muscular, right. clearly. That's a good point. Right now, we're putting in the bar top. All right, it's a countertop. I'm really excited to see how that cypress knee is going to kind of hold up that edge. All right, let me get this top cut off, and we'll stick it in there. Let's, go. Let's do it. On three. OK. One, two, three. Check it out. Oh, my goodness. All right. The transformation of Alexis and Matt's river house is already like night and day, and we're nearly done. As the guys finish up, I head out to grab the homeowners. These days are always exciting because you finally get to see your work pay off. In the end, I think she's really going to love this. All right, guys, this is the moment of truth. It's about time to take a look. You ready? Yeah. Ready. Are you nervous? I am a, a little, little bit. Nervous. Keep looking at me. Oh. I do not want you cheating, OK? OK. On three. OK. One, two, three. Check it out. Oh, my god. Right. What do you think about the color? You like it? I love the color. Yeah. You pretty look so it. good. Oh, thank you. So the siding before was really bad. Now it's one of my most favorite colors in the world. It, it looks so much better than it was. It's really hard to remember what it looked like before. It was, it's so beautiful now. What do y'all think? It's awesome. This Even is, the porch is better. I cannot believe how big it looks. Now it's a lot bigger, a lot brighter. Right. I was so scared when y'all were moving this, though. <laughs> it almost got away from Hammy. Isn't this an awesome view? It is. And the, this is the right place for this port. And that's just the outside. Let's go check it out. Let's do it. Check it out. Oh, oh it's really beautiful. I can't believe this is the same place. It doesn't look the same, does it? No. It is better than I ever could have imagined. I'm going to cry. <laughs> I'm like, not at all. Don't make me cry. It's really beautiful. Tons of counter space and tons of storage. Exactly what I asked for. So you know we love reclaimed wood, reclaimed materials. This is wood that Richard and I pulled out of a building in downtown Ruston. It's very yeah. important that it's reused to me. I so we've got your style right? 100%. You couldn't have done better. And then you've got the clean lines of the nice subway tile to freshen it up, make it modern. What is this? This is a new product called Bubachi. The countertops are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. You've got so much more room, tons of usable counter space. Family can sit there and have breakfast. I'm going to have the best cup of coffee I've ever had right there. We needed something to hold up this countertop, and we said, you know, let's bring nature inside. And so we went out and found the perfect cypress knee. It's exactly what this place is about. In the old cabin, the kids had to sleep on those dirty old couches. So we custom built a Murphy bed for you. That is really cool. So you love I it. love it. And the best part of it is you can move it out of the way, and put chairs there it when perfect. it's not sleepy time. But I got one more place to show you. Check out the bedroom. What do you think about your room? It's awesome. The bed is up off of the ground. Like, we're not sleeping on the floor anymore. Yeah, yeah this tin tile we pulled out of the ceiling in downtown and used it as a headboard. And I like that I can put things under the bed. There's tons of storage. That's one of the things that was the most important to me. It's different, isn't it's it? It's kind of hard to take all of this in. It's a whole new, it's, everything is great. Is it what you wanted? It's better than what I wanted. Y'all did great. I was really worried about her not liking the turnout of it. I'm glad we went with it and did it now. Y'all did everything I asked and more. This space was dark, dingy, dirty. Now it's bright, clean, crisp. It's inviting, you know, it looks like a home. Thank it's been you. a pleasure working with you. Thank you. Hampton and the guys really, truly came through and surprised me almost speechless, which is saying something. Thank you. Here we go. Big ass. <laughs>